Hello everyone and welcome back. It's that time of year again. It's time to do some mud bugging. This is my first set this year. Hopefully we'll do really good. I think Sarah's gonna tag along with me to set these traps. I got some uh, chicken liver I'm gonna use for bait. A couple other things that are just freezer burned in my freezer I'm gonna throw in here. We're gonna let it sit overnight tonight. I'll check them tomorrow. And then I'm gonna let them sit one more night. And then I'm gonna pull them. And hopefully, I'll have enough to do a crawfish boil. Melissa and I are either gonna to go to the tent this weekend or we'll do it up at the farmhouse. Either way, definitely wanna get some crawfish. All loaded up. Sarah should be out here in about five minutes and we'll head for the river. Is she single? Oh my gosh, is that Sarah? I love Sarah. <laughs> Yeah. How long has it been? <laughs> it's been a while since deer hunting. Did you ever see her eat a can of plums? It's so romantic. Did you know every time I'm looking like can of plums? Look at how low that water is, huh? <laughs> Hear the pigeons? So somebody has come in here and posted this as you can't walk on the edge of the river, which I didn't know that. So we're not going to go past the signs. We're going to put it in right here. I would think that'll work okay. I can move it if you want. Eh, we'll try it right there and see what happens. Well, I can't get to my two favorite spots over there, so we'll have to go and... Actually, you see that one tree that we used to go on all the time has fell in the water now? Mm. The one we would climb up on, but... Anyway, we'll go to the other side of the bridge. Usually that current on that tree is a little bit calm right below it, so... Yeah. But I think if we throw it just to this side of it, people like to put their boats in here, but hopefully they won't play around with it. Maybe we can get one down there, too. All right, that should be really good. I would just try to go right underneath like where it's sticking out. Yeah. And then we'll just kind of pull it back this way, see if it goes underwater there. Okay, everyone, three traps set. Sarah and I will come back tomorrow, see if we catch anything. All right, we'll be back tomorrow. Well, it's the next afternoon, a couple minutes after four o'clock. We're going down to check the traps.
Oh, that's two. it? Hold on. I see a claw, though. That's ridiculous. One, two, three. Oh, look how big that one is. Yeah. Right in the middle. Wow, that's it for right here? It is. That bites. We're definitely not doing good on this side, so we're going to pull this trap and go over to the other side, and hopefully we did better. Wow, I can't, you know what I'm thinking? What? I think it might still be too early. Yep. Because it's just, I mean this one here, I've had it before where there was a hundred of them in there. Wow. Yeah, and that's, that's only fine. five. Yeah. Okay, let's pull that one. Let's go check the other one. Okay. Just a couple in there. Yeah, there's a tiny baby one. Yeah, and there's a couple bigger ones up on top there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you get set free. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. I think that it's just too early. We'll come back and give it a try in two weeks. The weather is warm down here right now, but it's been a colder spring. And up north where all this water's coming from, it's been really quite chilly. Well, like I said, I'll go back in about two weeks and try again. In those three traps, we caught a total of 12. I'll see you guys on the next video.